Namaste everyone, welcome to the class. My name's Carolyn. So this is going to be a mini yin class. So we're just going to work through twists. So we're going to work on just releasing all those knots that were within your spine and your hips and your shoulders. So if you find the holds a little too strong for you, just soften out of the pose, rest and then come back into it. And you might want to use a blanket or a cushion under your knees or under your hips. So first of all, we're just going to start aware of our breath. So just bring your hands into chin mudra. So we're going to curl the index finger and bring the thumb around the index finger. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes. So in yin, the breath is very important. The inward breath brings in oxygen and energy and prana within the cells. And it's the outward breath that's going to help to soften, relax the muscles, but especially the hips and the shoulders. So you can work a little stronger and a little deeper. So we're going to start to slow down the breath. So as you breathe in, breathe in through the abdomen. Feel the abdomen expanding and opening a little bit like a balloon. And then as you breathe out, soften the abdomen. This time we're going to breathe into the lower rib cage and expand that lower rib cage. And then breathe out, soften, relax. Slowly breathe into the chest. Let the lungs expand like that balloon. And then breathe out, slowing down the breath to get rid of all that stale air. And then we're going to breathe into our collarbone and the tops of our shoulders. So expand the shoulders as much as you can. And then as you breathe out, consciously relax the shoulders down. So now we're going to put it all together. So as you breathe in, breathe in through the abdomen. Keep breathing in, let the breath float all the way up through the ribs, right up to the collarbone. And then as you breathe out, let the breath float right down. So doing that again, nice, slow, deep breath and to expand the body. And then as you breathe out, relax it down. So we're going to come into a little movement first, just to warm up the shoulders and the spine. So we're going to come into what's called camel ride. So just bring your hands on your knees. As you breathe in, we're going to rock forward and really consciously relax the shoulders back to open the heart center. And then as you breathe out, rock back, curl the shoulders and round. So we're going to breathe in to open and breathe out to curl. So as you breathe in, come forward to the front of your sitting bones. And then as you breathe out, curl to come back. So we're going to do that one more time, breathing in. And then breathing out. And this time use your arms as well. So as you breathe in and come forward, open the arms nice and wide to release the shoulder blades together. And then as you breathe out, round the shoulder blades to reach the arms forward. So we're going to do that again, breathing in to open and breathing out. One more time, nice deep breath in and then breathing out. So we're going to breathe in, arms come up to the ceiling. As you breathe out, we're going to come to a very soft twist to the right side. Be soft, we're just warming up. Breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, a very soft twist to the other side. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. Use that inward breath to really lengthen up through the body and use the outward breath to soften the body back down. And then come to face the front. So we're going to come into eagle arms. So we're going to bring the right arm underneath the left arm. So you can either bring the hands back to back or palm to palm. Consciously relax the shoulders, but then lift the elbows. You're not lifting the shoulders, relax the shoulders down. Lift the elbows, reach out through the fingertips. If you like, close your eyes. And we're going to focus our breath all the way around the shoulder blades. Slowing down that outward breath to let go of any tension that you're holding there. And then we're going to turn it into a very soft twist. So as we come into the twist, do stay aware of your shoulders. So if you can, try and bring your arms around to the left side. You can either look forward or turn your head to look over that shoulder. So just be aware of your shoulders. Breathe into your shoulders.
Look forward, bring the arms forward. Now change to the other side. So just stay aware of your shoulders. You can either look forward or turn your head to look over that shoulder. Look forward, bring the arms forward, relax the arms. So before we come to the other side, we're going to come into a forward fold. So just bring your hands on the mat, breathing in to lengthen the body. As you breathe out, bring your hands, one hand print ahead. Relax the shoulders. So we're going to breathe in to lengthen again. And then as you breathe out, come down as far as you can. So if you feel that you're struggling a little bit, just on the edge of a block or a blanket or even a cushion so your hips are tilted forward. Consciously relax your shoulders, relax your head. So as you breathe in, visualise that energy floating up through the spine. And then as you breathe out, consciously soften down. And then we're going to turn it into a very soft twist. So just bring the arms and your torso around to the right side. Just come as around as far as your back allows. And we're going to stay really aware of the left side of your back. So it's okay to feel a nice stretch, but you don't want to feel any strain or pain. And as you hold, we're going to breathe deeply into that left side. And you feel that as you breathe out, it will all soften and let go. Couple more breaths if you can, slowing it down. Bring your hands forward and now walk them all the way around to the other side. So this time stay aware of the right side of your back. And breathe into those muscles. Bring your hands forward, walk all your hands all the way back, come back to sitting and we're just going to change the cross of our legs, so just change it around and then we're going to come into eagle to the other side, so allow the left arm to come around the right. And again you can either have the hands back to back or palm to palm, relax the shoulders, lift the elbows, reach out through the fingertips, close your eyes. So this time we're going to breathe into the tops of our shoulders. We hold our stress, our worries there. So as you breathe out, consciously soften and let go. Just a few more breaths if you can. And then if you can, turn it into your twist. Allow the elbows to float around to the right side. So you can either look ahead or you can turn your head to the side or even turn your head to look over the other shoulder, whatever's good in your neck. Elbows forward, relax. When you're ready, come to the other side, either looking ahead or turn your head into the twist. Bring it forward. Relax the arms, coming back into our forward fold. Notice the difference to your hips this time. So breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, bring your hands forward. Relax the shoulders, breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, sink down as deep as you can. Notice the difference and breathe into that tension. You're going to walk our arms and our torso all the way around to the right side, just breathing deeply into the left side of your back. Just be aware if there's any strain or pain, soften out of the pose. Bring your hands forward, walk them all the way around to the other side, letting go and breathe into the right side of your back. Bring 
Bring your hands forward. Walk your hands all the way back. So we're just going to come into a full twist. So you can either keep the right knee bent like this and just bring the foot, left foot across the knee. If that's not feeling good in the right leg, straighten the right leg out like that. So we're going to wrap the opposite arm so it's your right arm comes around. Left hand comes to the back. Try and keep it close to the spine. As you breathe in, lengthen the spine. As you breathe out, come into your twist. And as we hold, we're going to really focus on the breath. So we're going to breathe into the right rib cage, really expanding out through those right lungs. Nice, slow, deep breath. If you can, try and double the length of the outward breath. And then without moving the body, we're just going to turn our head to look over the other shoulder. Now breathe into the left rib cage. Slow down that outward breath. and then come around, relax the legs. We're gonna change the cross. So now the left knee is down and the right foot comes across. And again, if it's not good in that bottom leg, do straighten the leg out. You don't want to stretch and overstrain the knee. So now it's the left arm wraps around. Right hand comes to the back, breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, come into your twist. So this time we're gonna breathe into our shoulder blades. Nice, slow, deep breath into the shoulder blades. And then as you breathe out, consciously let go of that tension that you're holding. So as you breathe in, really exercise the back of your lungs. Expand those shoulder blades. And then as you breathe out, if you can, double the length of the outward breath. So just going through that a couple more breaths if you can. And without moving the body, just turn your head to look over the other shoulder. Now we're going to breathe into the top of our shoulders. Let the shoulders expand up towards your ears as you breathe in. And then consciously soften the shoulders down as you breathe out. and then slowly come out of the twist. So we're just going to soften into window wipers. So just bring the feet out nice and wide and just flop the knees from side to side. So this releases any tension through the knees and the hips. And then coming around. So we're going to come all the way around onto our knees. So if you have problems with your knees, do pad under your knees. And we're just going to step the right foot forward. If you can, release through your hips into crescent moon. Going to bring the right elbow on that front leg. Left hand either wraps around your back or comes onto the back leg. And then turn your torso to the side. If you can, turn your head to look over that back shoulder. So as you breathe out, if you can, release through the hips that little bit more. Close your eyes and you're just aware of your breath, being aware of the subtle movement of the body on the inward breath and then the outward breath. Slowly come around. Bring both knees side by side. Just relax a little bit on our knees, so just swing your hips from side to side just before we come to the other side. I'll just turn around so you can see. So we're just going to step the left foot forward this time. If you can, release through your hips so you're a little deeper into your crescent moon. Left elbow comes down, 
right hand comes back, turn to the side, and then if you can, turn your head to look over that back shoulder. But if that's not good for your neck, just look where it's good for your neck. And again, as you breathe out, really soften, release through your hips as much as you can. Close your eyes, being aware of the breath. and then slowly come out of the twist. Just come onto both knees. So we're just gonna come into a cat-cow just to release the haps in the back. So just bring the hands under your shoulders. As you breathe in, arch the spine nice and high to the ceiling. And then as you breathe out, dip the lower back, lift up through the sternum, lift up through the head. So breathing in to arch the spine nice and high. Breathe out to dip it down, lift up through the sternum. One more time, breathing in, and then breathing out. Walk your hands back, come sitting down again. We're going to bring our legs out nice and wide, like the letter V. So again, if you feel that you're leaning back like that, you're going to sit on the edge of a blanket or the cushion. So you really want your hips tilted forward as much as you can. We're going to come into a very soft twist, breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, twist to the right side. So the left hand comes onto the leg, right hand comes to the mat at the back. Breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, if you can, increase the twist. Soften the shoulders, soften your head. As you breathe in, visualize the energy floating up through the spine. And then as you breathe out, really consciously soften, relax down. Just keep going with the breath, using the breath to release all that tension through the spine and the shoulders. Come to face the front, breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, twist to the other side, holding. So try and keep that back hand really close. Breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, increase the twist. Try and keep both sitting bones touching the mat as much as you can. And again, as you breathe in, lengthen up through the spine. Reach out through the crown of the head. As you breathe out, soften the spine, soften your shoulders. Just going through that a couple more times with your breath. and then slowly come out of the twist. Bring the legs together, give them a little shake if they need to. We're gonna come lying down on the mat and do some twists lying down on the mat. So just have the right leg straight and we're gonna bring the left foot on the right knee. The right hand holds the top knee. Let the knee cross over your body to the right side. And then we're gonna bring the left arm to the back. So you can either have it down on the mat or a block, whatever's good for you. Relax your head down. If you can, turn your head to look over that back arm. So as you breathe out, soften the hips, soften the shoulders. Slowly come out of the twist, switch to the other side. So the right foot on the left knee, left hand holds the knee, let it cross over to the left side, right arm out. And if you can, turn your head to look over that back arm. So again, if you find that you're straining through the shoulder, rest that back arm on a block or a cushion, whatever's good for you. 
As you breathe out, set a little deeper into the pose, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing your knees. slowly come out of the twist. So we're just going to finish off with a twist for our hips and our sciatic area. So just bend the knees and we're going to cross the right thigh over top of the left thigh. Lift the hips, bring the hips to the right side of your mat. Let both knees come to the left side. So you should feel a nice stretch through the top hip and through the leg. Let the arms come out like the letter T, palms open up to the ceiling. So you can either look up at the ceiling or look over that back arm. So in this twist, just make sure the knees and the hips are soft. And we're going to breathe into that top hip. So if we do a lot of sitting at the desk, you, you'll feel that you have really tight sciatic area and glute area. So this really helps to stretch and let go of those knots that are there. So just a few more breaths if you can. Allow the knees to come up, uncross, centre the spine so it's straight, come to the other side. So the left thigh crosses over, hips come to the left side of your mat, so that allows the spine to stay straight. Both knees float to the right. If you can, turn your head to look over that back arm. So again, breathe into that top hip. Notice the difference to this side. Slow down the breath as much as you can. Slowly come out of the twist, uncross, centre the spine, lengthen out the legs, getting ready for relaxation. So just relax the arms down by your sides. And we're just going to spend a little time with our breath and use our breath to relax the body. So as you breathe in, visualise the breath floating around your feet, massaging your feet. And then as you breathe out, soften the feet. So we're going to let the breath now to float up through the legs, massaging deep within the bones of your legs. And then as you breathe out, relax. Now use that inward breath to massage the muscles of your legs, deep within the calves, deep within the thighs and the hamstrings. And as you breathe out, your legs are growing very heavy. Slowly breathe into the hips. Visualise that breath floating deep within the hip joint. And then as you breathe out, soften the hips. Let the next breath come to your tailbone. And as you keep breathing in, visualise it, massaging one vertebrae at a time right up through the spine. And then as you breathe out, consciously soften the spine. Slowly breathe into the lower back, deep within the muscle. Breathe out, soften. We're going to breathe into the middle back, deep within the muscles. And again, relax and soften. Let the next breath float all the way around the shoulder blades, really slowly. 
And then as you breathe out, consciously let go. Let the back be very heavy. I'm going to bring the breath now to the tops of our shoulders, massaging deep down into the muscle. And as you breathe out, relax your shoulders. The next breath, flowing down your arms, right down to your hands. And as you breathe out, the arms are growing heavy. Relax your jaw and your forehead. Your eyes are soft, mouth and nose are soft. Your body's growing heavier and heavier as you relax. We're just going to stay here for a few more breaths, just letting go of all that tension. Letting go of the tension within the body and within the mind. Just let it go. We're going to slowly start to wake the body up. So just bring a little movement to your hands, a little movement to your feet. Slowly bend the knees. Slowly roll to the side. Spend a little time on your side. And then slowly, when in your own time, just come up to sitting. So as you come up to sitting, just sit cross-legged or have the legs out. Just make sure your body's really soft and relaxed. So as you breathe in, let the arms float out to the side. Keep breathing in. Let the arms float nice and high to the ceiling. And then as you breathe out, bring the hands together. Slowly breathe out, the hands floating all the way down to your heart centre. And namaste everyone. Thank you very much coming to the class. Hope you enjoy the class and hope that your spine and your shoulders and hips feel a lot softer and relaxed. So thank you very much.